Miller Sarajstad in the Ben Shop put F55 final. His third attempt is currently in first position, 11.394. The Serbian. Well, that is big. There's the yellow world record line you can see. He's very close to that indeed. The world record. Is held by the Czech Republic's Martin Nemec. That was set nine years ago. That's 11.85. That is close. 11.49 for Zaric. He's in first position. Lex Stoltman of Poland. His bid to get into the medals. In this men's shot put at 55. Can he overturn Jedi? 10 meters 91. So, final attempt of the three, 10 metres 91 previously. Stoltman may have edged that just that little bit further. Martin Nemec of the Czech Republic with the world and championship records. World record 11.85. That's 11 meters 05, and he's in third place, two centimeters behind Jedi. A new hope for an Iranian medal. Ahmed Saric, who leads for Serbia, 11.49. Jedi with the silver medal position for now, and Lex Stoltman in third for Poland, and Pantis in fourth for Greece. Off we go to the men's shot put F55, the first attempt of Karol Kuzan of Poland. Defending champion, bronze medalist in Europe in Swansea last year. This his first. That is a mark first up. He'll have three attempts. All the competitors in the M55 will have three. 11 11. The first effort there for Kozen. The season best 11.24, lifetime best 11.96. The championship record in this event goes back to Bill Nerd to ask 13 years ago. That's 11.59. Martin Nemec holds that. What? 11.11 for his first. That there, though, not what he's after, the pole. A foul confirmed for his second. Just reorganises himself there. Does Kozen. Carol Kozun in the top three, 11.11 11 in this men's F55 shot put. Perennially successful athlete for Poland, and that beyond 10 metres. All three throws coming at once. And out of the 16 in this final, it is the top eight who then go through to the final three throws. And Kozun is comfortably there because he's in the middles. 11-11, good enough for that for the moment, but 11 metres, 25, an improvement of 14 centimetres. And Kozun lies in third place behind Rusty of Bulgaria and Milo Saric of Serbia.
The light for Belgium and another goal for Marika Verfoot. The clean sweep. The 100, the 200, and the four. And here he is, Rushdie Rushdie. His first attempt of the competition. And it's a long one. Now that's the world record line that's there of 11.85. The championship record is 11.59 from Martin Nemer to the Czech Republic, the world record holder in Lille in 2002. 11 metres 81 is a new championship record. Puts them into the gold medal position. Salinas so Ventura of Mexico heading into his final three throws. Just to give you a recap of the Azden competition, on the way in you may have give, been given envelopes. With He's lying in eighth place. Continental if record for North America, 994 in the second round. In have gone into this with a lifetime best of 968 set this year. Well, that's hotels. extended now. So if you have gold or silver stickers on your Azden envelopes, please come and find me and Ilias because we've got the prizes. Final night's nice action anyway, Evan O'Hanlon. What have you made of the uh, week here so far? in Doha. Yeah, I think this week in Doha has been a great championships. It's probably, even though I wasn't, wasn't unable to race due to injury, it's probably the best championships I've been to as far as organization and professionalism around the athletes is concerned. I've had a lot of fun commentating and very interesting this evening to commentate my own T38 100 meter final as I lost my World title. How soon before you reckon you're going to be back on the track competing then? Obviously, it's, it's pretty much the end of the season. Yeah, it's the end of the season now, and I've got another five to six weeks of rest. So, I'm getting married in December, and I'll probably just wait till after that to get back into full time training. I'll do some bits and pieces of, around before then, and then I'll uh, hopefully get back on the track before the middle of next year, so I might even miss most of the domestic season in Australia. Well, congratulations for that. Anyway, it's going to keep you busy, that, I know, in December. Back for Rio, though. Definitely back for Rio, definitely. As long as I can keep the body in shape, I'll be there in Rio and trying to defend my Paralympic titles and make it three in a row for the 100 metres. Unable to defend my 200 title, obviously, because it's been removed from the international program to make way for some other events. Melina's Ventura. Three throws to go. Chance to move up the uh, rankings. 9.94 is his best so far. Have to ask you about that because obviously there are quite a few athletes who have suffered from that. Uh, we've seen Hannah Cockroft, who's coming up very shortly. She's lost, I think, the 200 meters. Tatiana McFadden's lost quite a few. Um, what do you feel being one of the uh, the victims, if you like, of, of this decision to remove a number of events? Yeah, I know a lot of athletes are complaining about it, but I don't think they really, and it's probably the wrong thing to say in Paralympic sport, but I don't think they have a foot to stand on really because it's just part of a growing movement. There's always going to be some changes in Paralympic sport and Paralympic athletics is getting to the stage now where we've got a number, a huge number of competitors in a number of classes. If we wanted to do every race in every class and every throwing event in every class, we would be there for a couple of weeks in Rio. I think we just have to keep in mind that the Organisers are trying to keep it as short and exciting as possible. We don't need athletes winning, you know, 10 gold medals across a number of events. That's not what happens in able-bodied sports, so we can't expect for that opportunity to be had in Paralympic sport. Ah! The best so far, that's Ooh. bouncing around the 10-metre line. I reckon 
That's probably going to see him move up one place. Because the funny thing, the talk in Beijing a couple of months ago, the IAAF World Athletics Championships was that there are a few people expecting the 10,000 meters to go. That it's it's it is felt that it is not a brilliant televisual event. Yeah, well, not everything is a great for TV. I mean, yes, really? it does take a long time, and as a sprinter, it's very hard for me to understand. But I can I sympathise with the athletes there because it's been an event for such a long time, and there's obviously a m lot of distance athletes around the world that would love to have that kept. Uh, jogging and distance running is a big thing outside of athletics even, just for the average person. I think it's very, that event, event would be very relatable to a lot of people and even, maybe even more so over that distance than it would be relatable over 100 metres with Usain Bolt running so fast. I think that's almost beyond comprehension for some people. <laughs> Salinas Ventura with his uh, sixth throw. 994 is best in the second round. Ah! Oh, that's beyond 10 metres anyway. So that's it. He's past the 10 metre mark. to do. He needs to get into the middle places and that is much, much better. The yellow mark, the world record of Martin Nemec set in the Czech Republic by the man from the Czech Republic in 2006. 11.47 better in his fourth attempt. Still more to do though, two left. A bit more chalk on the hands and the face. Very hot, very humid. Has been for all 10 days of competition. He now is in third position. 11.49 of Milos Zaric of Serbia is what he's chasing down if he wants silver. At the moment, he's in bronze. Ah. Almost like a carbon copy of his last attempt. stays in third position. He needs to find about seven centimetres for somewhere. That will put him into the silver medal position. Zaric, 11.49 just above him. isn't as far as his last two. Wait for confirmation, but I would be surprised if that is as far. It looks as though it's a good 20 centimetres down. It's not 20 down, but it's seven centimetres worse off, so he takes the bronze medal. Karol Kurzen of Poland. 54, and also we've got oh, field action. Yes. Shot put at 55. Rusty, Rusty of Bulgaria with his fifth attempt. Oh, he leads the present. Kozen, oh. the bronze. Zaric, 
the silver. And this man, though, with a new championship record, 11.81 with his first, is the gold medalist. Once he finishes his next attempt, his sixth and final attempt to complete the men's shot put F55 competition at Doha 2015. out there near the world record mark. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony that is still for 13 years. The championship record, which he has beaten today, the world record since 2006. Both of them were held by Martin Nemec of the Czech Republic. Point seven zero, but here's the gold medalist, a new championship record, 11.81, beating the mark set 13 years ago. Confirmation then of the men's job put F55, the final standings. Rushdie in first place, Zarich in second with a silver, and Kozan picks up the bronze in third place.